today we're actually gonna do a makeup tutorial and I know it's gonna be my very first tutorial on my vlogging channel I know it's not considered as vlogging but I'm gonna be putting up on a new playlist so you guys can determine which is which and yeah so let's get into the makeup tutorial so I'm gonna be using um this is like an up front um, review of the I'm not a foundation type of woman at all so um, by the way if you're wondering this is my Sony Cybershot um, camera that I'm using to uh, film this video because I was gonna film it using my um, iPad mini but the problem is that I had like trouble doing that so I figured Sony Cybershot has been really my vlogging camera and now I want to try to use it as my my beauty something camera so I hope you're gonna enjoy this video and this is an upfront review also of the newest um, BB cream flawless white um, that I have been using for a while now and um, I want to tell you about a short review on the spot review about the BB cream that have released for like 2014 they have released this and I love love the, the BB cream so much and this is how it looks like this is the product and actually it lasted me really quite some time now and it has SPF 30 uh, PA plus plus so I don't know what that means but it really has I know it has a good coverage for me everybody has a different skin type tone or skin so I know everybody might not like um, the Pons BB cream but for me it really worked and this is my review so um, it has it has been at 25 grams so I have bought it um, 2014 around probably December or November around that time so it have lasted until now and this is how it looks I know it looks perfect I love love this BB cream and um, I'm not as again I'm not a foundation type of woman so I don't need much of coverage on my face except on my under eye and I just put the um, I just put a concealer on my um, very bad eye circles because I or my eye bags because I sleep very very late and I have bad insomnia so yeah so it's enough of the bubbling I'm gonna go through with uh, my daily look and using just drugstore and also some of this makeups are not from the Philippines because my auntie from Saudi have sent her daughter some and my cousin have gave me some of the blush on and that part of I'm gonna be using but most of it are really drugstore and um, it's easy to get whichever you like so I hope you would enjoy and let's get into it okay, so now I'm gonna be using a BB cream the Pons BB cream because that's how I roll it comes in a tube like which is very convenient for everybody to use and actually my color as a Filipina we have very fair skin and um, I am going with beige so my color for the BB cream is beige and I love love this BB cream so much that I have been really using it um, every day like if I go out or whatsoever and yes I'm gonna cheat because I have like a mirror in front of me as well as my iPad um, being um, being set up earlier so I just want to look on there and check on what I'm doing on my face because the camera that I'm filming doesn't have um, the the effect that you guys could be seeing yourself while you you film so I don't have that type of camera so yeah so I basically use my hands to put on the BB cream because again when you use your hands I know people would probably be like what but it's the best technique for me like it have work and it gives you a very very um natural look so yeah that's why i use my hands for everything probably because i even use it for eyeshadow and i know a lot of people use it for eyeshadow purposes too because it warms the color of your eyeshadow and it's really cool but no offense for those that use um that uses uh brushes because it it works just the same like i i don't have brushes for for now because i'm still starting but since then i have been using my hands to um to 
to put up makeup on my face which is I find it very natural and as you can see it doesn't need uh, full coverage but I hope you can see it on camera that it has really given my face the glow that I want to achieve and um, it does the work so I don't need the foundation at this time so after that I normally fill in my brows I know this is kind of like very it's not even in a sequence so um, I have been using for my eyebrows I have been using the elf brow kit so this is how it looks and I am on I think this is the medium yeah so basically this is have what I have been using to um, to fill in my brows and I have been liking it so you just take um, light or tap on the wax and you have the powder which is really convenient for you because you have the wax and the powder uh, what I normally do is I just um, fill in like my brows like slowly and and yeah so I don't really I even do my own um, brows because whenever you go to the parlor no offense to the whoever does the the brows of of people that goes to the parlor but you go like it goes like straight lines and I am not that type of woman that would use that and if you could hear a very bad background noise it's actually my it's actually our dog outside I think there's somebody so yeah so that's normally what I do and I use the powder to set the the color so you just have to do this that and yeah so you have to do this so pretty much i'm excited to anyways um so if you have set your eyebrows i don't need much of um fixing my brows because it really looks very natural on my end and I like how it looks now so this has been a real to go product for me since I knew how to do my brows so moving on I love to um, work on my eyeshadow so um, if you guys are going into neutral look I would really suggest to use um, Maybelline color tattoo and I love this uh, bad to the bronze and which is really nice because I have been using it for quite some time and I bought this and oh goodness gracious like this is the color it's very very pretty it looks very natural on the skin and I couldn't ask for more so what I do is I just use my hand my my index finger and tap on it a little and I am not I am very and I love natural look so arms the color of your eyeshadow which is really cool and I have been like this is like all drugstores so if you could get your hands on this uh, color tattoo go ahead and grab it because it's a uh, it's it works perfect and everybody's skin tone like you could be pale it could be yellow like when you're Chinese you have yellow type skin and like even to black Americans like or you know to black women um, yeah so also to fair skin like me like Filipinas like purely Asian um, Americans Europeans this color tattoo it comes in different colors I'm sure they're they're probably like champagne pinkish champagne thingy I don't know the exact name of that but yeah I just love love this color and it takes it's true like it works like for 24 hours it's there and I love it so that's basically how it looks on my end like I love that color and I'm gonna take again I know this is probably very very weird but the powder in in the elf um, brow kit you can actually use it as your eyeshadow just to let you know guys like it works really well so I'm gonna show you how I do that so you use it um, on the side and bring it up and go sideways motion and oh my goodness and circular like that it is very gorgeous trust me let me finish my makeup and I'll tell you why I've been loving that powder as an as
good stuff here but what I love to do using my using my elf um, bronzer it's like a quad so it's a golden bronzer so it comes in a quad type and this is how it looks it looks very very pretty you guys you have to you have to take in the moment and see how it it looks very pretty but normally it is used as a bronzer but what I love to do here I'm gonna take in the color um, I'm gonna take in this color on the side and take using the brush that for my brows I know I'm probably very weird right now but trust me it works wonders okay so use it as a transition color I know I know I know but use that as your transition of color so you take that and use it on the other side so it softens really the color and I'm working on getting a smoky brown effect on my eyes and yeah see what I mean and take the pinkish part and I don't know it's more of more on like a pinkish champagne color and I know it you might be wondering why I'm doing this but it the, the transition of color gives your eyes a very very good effect and I love it like really I love the effect on this on my eyes on everything so and the lightest color here this is what I use for highlights again it's a bronzer but mind you guys if you're gonna use this as your highlight under your brow like on your brow bone it looks crazy as shit I know like it works wonders right now for me and I know you could achieve this using hundreds of you could have invested of hundreds of dollars or pesos on on the look that you want to achieve but mind you with a simple uh, makeup that you own you don't know that you could actually achieve this kind of look and I've been loving this look since then so this is the look that I love love to do on my makeup so if you have something like a uh, fall off so what you're gonna do is normally just use a what's this but we are not yet done because I haven't even put on some I haven't even put on some concealer and I know I told you that it's gonna be a concealer but what I have found out just recently and if you know about um, Ever Bellina BB cream in this oh my god their advanced BB cream that is I don't you don't need anything else like really so that I come on the color natural no I come in color oriental I'm sorry so what I do with that is I'm gonna take a little of it and what I do is I use that as to cover my eyes and I use a tap motion I use it on my nose I use it on the side of my lips because I have for some reason I don't know but I grew up having like dark lips so you can do that you could cover you could use your hand it warms the whatever product your hands warms it up so use this and on the top of my nose and let's go back on the elf golden bronzer what I do on the darkest shade on the darkest shade you can use that again it's a bronzer so you start using that on the side of your nose because I have to contour contouring it works like you really have to um, focus on contouring contouring what could what contouring could do to your face makes it slimmer you could look um, th the part that you don't really like the most but trust me if you do that oh my goodness I I can't even tell you anymore but yeah so to to bronze your area so what I do is to do a fish like face and you apply it where on here so you're contouring that area so yeah on the other side on your temples as you do under your chin um, and yeah so 
um, this is what I've been telling you. So not pro all products would be available in the Philippines because this one was given to me. So this is the blush that I have been using. So this came from Saudi Arabia, um, given by my auntie. So I don't know, but the name of this is Javico. And I have, I love, love this color. And it doesn't say something about its name, but it just says blush. And it's a number BL14. So... UAE people, you might know um, this one, but oh my goodness. You guys, you have to see how... I use this as blush. And it's very, very pigmented. So you have to tap on it and put on the, the cheeks, um, the apple of your cheeks. So work on that area. Bring it up. And yeah, so we're almost done. So that's how I look right now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is the normal look that I would go if I am going out and about. So yeah, I am not also um I am not also a type of person that uses a uh, dark eyeliner eyeliner. So yeah, so now we're going to set our we're going to set the I just burp excuse me i'm a pig ah <laughs> whatever but yeah so i'm gonna set my makeup with a powder it's a foundation powder and it's from fashion 21 um you can get this anywhere and yeah ready but this is how it looks like and yeah so this is no actually this is made in taiwan distributed in the philippines oh my god i have to correct that because that's damn crazy anyway so you have to, i'm gonna take my other kabuki brush and yes yeah, so you have to tap it and yes yeah, so work up on setting your you have to set your makeup with a with a powder or but it works wonders. Bring it to your neck so you wouldn't... Oh, I got an email. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so we're done. We're almost done. We're going to curl our lashes. And yes, I have a very cute curling... Curling, what's this? Tool. So yeah, I'm going to look into my mirror. I'm cheating again because I barely see it. And yeah, curl, curl your lashes almost done all right so we're done with that and talk talking about um mascara so i have been rocking the maybelline rocket volume express mascara what to call that but it comes with that applicator and then what i do is just apply it it's it works crazy on everybody's eyelashes and if you want like vava voom I ha I will be putting up a video merely on um, putting up mascara if you like. So let me know on the comments below if you want to see that. Alright, so that's my first eyelash. I don't normally put on my lower lash. I just love it on top. So that's how it looks and it has been really beautiful. I know. So I'm going to rock on the other one. And... other mascara and yes i have the ever Bellina five volume fiber mascara and what i do if i'm done with the rocket volume what i do is i come to this and because it has a very nice wand like applicator so i normally just focus on the inner part because your rocket volume has been really good on on building at the tip so what I do with this is I focus on the inner part so there you go so we're done with our eyelashes and it looks very very pretty and I hope you guys agree with me because I don't need any falsies at all because my eyelashes has been really really blessed and yeah so we are moving to our lips now so Mind you guys, I, I, I am very, very picky. All right, so my Sony camera uh, died on me. 
and very 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 unfortunate right so we're almost done I'm just gonna add this of uh, because I'm using my iPad mini right now as as I film this because my camera just died on me it died and no more so oh by the way I have nude nude nail polish anyway so again so we're almost done I'm moving on my lips so what I normally use I'm very picky and again let me talk about Revlon color burst matte bomb so oh my gosh this is how it looks and the color the color of this is pretty like oh my god this is so pretty I've been rocking on it every time and it actually it smells like something it smells it smells like um, what do you call this it smells like mint which is so good so let's do that let's apply it and by the way it's matte so so this is how I look with the finished um, to go makeup like this is what I've been rocking all the time if I'm gonna put on makeup so I hope you guys enjoy and if you like what you have just seen on the video don't forget to give this all thumbs up if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and everything would be on my description box and again if you guys are into um, if you guys are into gaming Brian has a gaming channel it's on twitch he goes live every Sunday yeah Sunday and Monday Eastern Standard Time and yeah so if you guys really like gaming video gamings um, I will link his I will link his channel down below and also you could follow me on social media I do have Instagram and Twitter and I'm always on Twitter so guys if you want to follow me and be updated yes and actually I'm still gonna do the countdown I've been out on the vlogging channel I mean I this is my vlogging channel but I'm also adding it so whatever beauty um, reviews or makeup tutorials I'll be putting them on another playlist so you guys will not be confused so yeah I hope you enjoy this look um, and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial it's gonna be a very long one so I'm sorry about that but I'm gonna be editing some so yeah enjoy and I'll see you again next time bye